Hey, I'm Scott at phasingplayer.com, and today I'll be telling you why you should be playing Roads and Boats. And yes, that is exactly what that says. You should play Roads and Boats if you like games that actually have over 2,000 little cardboard bits. You might lose some, you might chew some up, you might spit some out, and you know what? You won't even notice because it's impossible to tell with this many to spare. You should play Roads and Boats if you like building maps. Before every game, you've got to put together a map to play on, built with these little hexes that the game comes with. You've got different types of terrain like mountains, forest, water, stone, and they all provide different benefits and, uh, and drawbacks. You can build your own custom maps if you desire, but most likely you'll end up using this included scenario booklet. It's got preset maps for different player counts, and they provide different challenges. It's nice because you can play the same map over and over again with new players, different players, and uh, try to hone in your strategies for that specific map. You should play Roads and Boats if you like games with variable player counts. See, this game supports up to four, six if you have the expansion, but it also supports as few as one if you want to play solo games. It comes with a bunch of puzzles for you to complete, and you're trying to beat a high score, essentially. And those games take about 30 minutes to play on average. You should play Roads and Boats if you like games that demand that you use an insane looking player aid. Seriously, look at this thing. It's full of weird iconography, tiny text, it's packed edge to edge. I got this off Board Game Geek. it is crazy, and it actually makes the game way easier to play, so I highly recommend it. Uh, and apparently you should play Roads and Boats if you like taking notes. Uh, this, someone took notes on the back of this uh, at some point. Uh, looks like probably my fiance. Uh, it says, uh, have donk one to cart soft, for, soft foot, uh, build to raft foot home donk is a question mark, I think. Uh, Javier to Samuel. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, it looks like nonsense. Uh, Haley, I love you. I have no clue what you wrote here. You should play Roads and Boats if you like games that have proactive donkeys that can go and get stuff done. You should play Roads and Boats if you are an aquarium enthusiast and maybe you need a bunch of glass beads to put on the bottom of one you own. Cause this game, it comes with a bunch of them. You should play Roads and Boats if you wish to increase your understanding of metaphysical phenomena. See, while this steamship is hanging out with those two geese and that piece of paper, everything is cool. But if this ship were to set sail and go back out into the ocean, well, these geese and that piece of paper would be consumed by the Shadow Realm, never to be seen again. What's going on, buddy? You should play Roads and Boats if you have $200 sitting around in 2018, because at the time of this recording, that is how much this game costs. There's apparently a reprint coming next year in 2019, and if you're watching this after that, you'll know if that reprint ever happened or not. Uh, if you don't play Roads and Boats for whatever reason, uh, you could maybe at least go online and make fun of the artwork, I guess. Uh, it's, people like to poke fun at it and say the box art is bad. You know, it's got this donkey with some paper flying off his back. Uh, there's some sad geese following him. There's a man in a rowboat over here. Uh, it's got some mines going in the background. Okay, you know, I actually, let me step back on this. Don't make fun of this artwork. I, I like this artwork. I think it's pretty good. It's very whimsical. It, uh, it has this innocent quality to it. It's very childlike. Um, not to say that the artist is a child. Um, but it's not, okay, that sounds like an insult, I know. But uh, Tamara in 1998 drew this, the box says, and I don't think she's a child or was a child then. Uh, so I'm sorry if that sounds like an insult. I don't mean it to be an insult. I mean that it is in, it's got this whimsy and this innocence to it that is kind of childlike. Okay, I'm digging myself into a hole here. The Roads and Boats artwork is good. Uh, I like it, it is very unique, and you shouldn't make fun of it. And you should play Roads and Boats. And you should go check out my website, phasingplayer.com, where I have more videos like this, as well as written content, essays, reviews, uh, and podcasts that I record. I would appreciate it quite a bit. 
uh, send me feedback, uh, good or bad, I appreciate it either way. So thanks for watching and uh, go check out Roads and Boats and support independent artists. Don't just dismiss their work as bad, please, okay?